Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report, but maybe now isn't the time. I hope you know I'm here for you, if you ever have your own stuff to report. That's what friends are for. Unless it's about money, in which case, I'm busy. By the way, sometimes you find edible plants among the weeds. Please do not eat the weeds. Not good, but I'm loud. You might want to run for cover. And then, House Nouvelle will take its rightful place among the elite class once more. Oh, you're here! Welcome to the Forest of Death! <laughs> Hello. I have a request concerning that creature. I can hardly look at the thing in the state it's in. Do something about it. My assistance has a price. I expect you to aid me in fulfilling my dream of restoring House Nouvelle. I do look... I'll have to be content with observing you wherever you go then. You look like a cat that's been sprayed with water. What? You don't think I should sing the high notes? What? I see. I will try it. My duty is your death. I was wondering if I might get a sample of your flesh. A couple square inches would do. Uh, ouch! I sprayed my wrist. Oh, no, 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 no. Now you've done it, Bernie. Now you're his eternal rival. I do not wish to hurt you. Actually, I... No! I'm done for! You'll be the death of me for sure! Whoa. Why is it so cold all of a sudden? It's as if an unspeakable evil just... You're late. No! Into the light! Back to the beyond from which you came! I... Was embroidering. I suspected as much. Then you leave me no choice. What? No, I'm too young to die. I've got so much left to do. Please don't kill me. I know why you sat us next to each other. You want to see who can eat more quickly. Ferdinand, please stop making everything a competition against me. One was Derek Von Eyer. People called him the warrior prime minister. He bravely led soldiers into battle, and mowed down his enemies, and the other... ...was the Emperor of the time. She wagered the throne in a duel against Derek and won. Why don't we do what our ancestors did and have a little duel ourselves? Huh. I will write a handbill listing your accomplishments, alongside my own more impressive accomplishments. Copyists will produce thousands of these pamphlets and distribute them far and wide. Then everyone will know about my... That's not very... Uh, this is too much hassle. I'm leaving. Ah, sorry! Please don't kill me! To my duty. You're going to execute me, aren't you? Please, let me compose my last will and testament. Or at least a swan song. How did you manage to faint while standing up? Does the river of filth pouring out of your mouth ever stop flowing? Hey, Bernadetta, what's going on? Enemy! Enemy's here! We're under attack! Help! Someone! Anyone! Despite my current circumstances, I was born into House Nouvelle, one of the preeminent houses of the Empire. Didn't you know? Are you complimenting me, Hubert? That alone deserves to be studied. Let me finish. I haven't an ounce of respect for the cause you have chosen to waste your talents on. All of the food I've eaten in this monastery has been absolutely delectable. Every last bite of it. <laughs> food really is the only thing you think about, huh? Uh, hardly. I think about all sorts of things. Oh, like tomorrow's menu, for instance? Have you ever killed anyone? I can't be expected to remember where I leave every small object. Return that at once. At once, I say. 
the grin of death itself. T terrifying. You think so? Oh no, now you're angry too. Hardly. I'm sorry to have frightened you. No, you're not. It's a trick. You're lulling me into a false sense of security. Ah, I can't stand it. <laughs> She's a lost cause. Oh, what a lovely bloom. Behold, Edelgard. Do you see this blood-red bloom? This is much more impressive than the pale little sprigs you have there. And, as I'm sure you know, redness symbolizes courage and strength. Ferdinand, stop. Bernie, what the heck are you even doing in the infirmary? You took one look at me and passed out. Huh? Don't be silly. There's absolutely no reason I faint at the sight of you, here it's... I... Uh, uh, I'm coming down with a sudden cold, I think. Yeah, I've uh, got to run to my room. You need something, spit it out. My ice cream is melting. I am incapable of enjoying my dessert with you gawking at me like that. I have no further words for you. Go. It seems I am discovered. I suppose that means assassination is out of the question. At least for now. Claude. Claude. Which one was he again? I've been waiting a very long time to ask you. Why did you do it? Why did you kill your father? Because I wanted to. I'm not picky, but honestly, this is terrible. This looks delicious, you, Professor. And you, Edelgard, I will return your kindness one day. Yeah! I'm back! If you want me to shout, then I'm gonna shout! I'm not even gonna think about it! I knew you'd come around! Me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? Among us. Fighting. What shouting? Everyone told me I was too loud, so I've been using my quiet voice. This is probably more than a little awkward, considering where it came from, but... Here. A ring? Is this... No. Is it? Oh, Ingrid. I accept your offer. We'll be together forever. Those merchants really needed your help. For all the buying and selling they do, they're not so good at trading blows. You get it? Trading blows? They <laughs> and merchants, they... Oh, forget it. If you push me any further, I'll write an opera about you. I'll do it right here and now. And then I'll sing it in your face. You don't need to say it. I know. I'm frightening. I'm told so often. <laughs> Please don't laugh like that! I will remove you! together to the dining hall, shall we? To be abundantly clear, this has nothing to do with my non-existent fear of ghosts. Great feedback, both of you. Well then, let's see. Factoring in my own humble opinion, yes. We have a winner! And I will announce who it is right now! Without any delay, the winner of this year's White Heron Cup is... Not sure the judges are in their right minds. Not Edelgard's equal. Is that what you are saying? Understand that I mean no disrespect by this. But it is a fact that you are far beneath her. Make no mistake about what would happen if you were to raise your banner in revolt against her. She would crush you mercilessly. You're not a bad... 
bad, Dancer Ferdy. But you do have some moves that are hard to watch. You honor me with your kind words. I understand that I am sometimes too dazzling to behold directly. What was that look? Are you trying to convey that I'm a mere commoner like yourself? You would decline the honor of attending to me without a second thought? It's not really fair. I need to master my own fear. Is that right? Yes. R right. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You told me not to forego laughing, so I laughed as hard as I could. Is it helping to conquer your fear? You would dare threaten a woman? I will not permit such ungentlemanly conduct. Oh, hello, Ferdinand. Do you have an opinion on all this? Behind me, milady. I will protect you. Who are you? You looking for trouble, too? Keep your distance, gutless knave. I just cleaned my sword, and if I maim you, I will have to clean it again. You, Professor. Did Hanneman make his I will do no harm speech or promise this won't hurt a bit when he asked to study you? Both? The only one who truly knows the nature of such things is I. Or rather, you. Oh, you are a complete and utter fool! Have you not changed one bit? Get on your feet. Right now! I'll coddle you no more! You are just like a child, always needing me to hold your hand. It's like you're... how to put it? You're like a little brother to me. Ugh, really? That's not exactly a compliment. No, but it's true. And now that I've thought about it, I like the whole idea. Why don't you try calling me Big Sis and see how it feels? No, no, that's not gonna happen. That's... an enticing offer. Fine. Once. <sighs> Big Sis. Alright, I'm ready to fight. Let's do this! Leave it to me! I can take on the whole, uh, most of the enemy's army. Ahem. A true noble cuts their own path, seizing freedom from the clutches of tyranny. If we're going, I wish it wasn't to wage war. It'd be more fun to visit with a cute girl on my arm. Huh. Thanks so much. Identity. Hmm. If my detective skills are correct, then you are the Death Knight, right? Everyone already knows that. Huh? What? Everyone knows? But how? Well, here's the deal, Yuritsa. You've got to tell me a secret about you that nobody else knows. Why? Because! I sleuths for hours upon hours! That's got to be rewarded! Just stop. All right, I will share with you my tactical genius. I call this my secret plan. You already have a plan? <laughs> you really are ready for anything. So, what is it? Land the first hit. Then keep hitting them hard and fast as you can until they stop hitting you back. So you're basically telling me to just... fight? What's the matter? Not hungry? I am partaking in some sweet delights. Is there a problem? Yes. I am a person, too. What I eat is nobody's business but my own. Friends. That word somehow doesn't seem adequate. But we've been friends for a long time, you and I. By now, we're so much more than that. At least in my mind. Oh, <laughs> at last! A chance to show off my cooking skills!
person at all. Well, excuse me. Right. Thanks for taking the time. No trouble at all. Here it is. Thanks. I'm going to head in now, if that's okay. Whew, that's quite a relief. How kind of Bernadetta's friend making that delivery for me. Wait a second. That was Bernadetta. All right, off to the kingdom capital we go. Huh. I feel like I've said that before. All right, I'm fired up and ready to go. Seems it's my turn to not understand. Did you just propose marriage as a way to get to know me? No, uh, it's just you should put your talents to use elsewhere. That's all. Hmm. Have you been speaking to Hubert? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. What is the meaning of this? Xanado, the Red Canyon, is a place of great significance to the Church of Saros. Even members of the Church are forbidden from entering without permission. To go trampling around in there, causing trouble, those bandits truly are morally reprehensible. You're that new professor, right? You just started teaching up on the surface. Nah. Even here people have been talking about you. Not that the gossip got everything right. I heard you were beautiful, but obviously that was an exaggeration. 